In the Hawke's Bay, if 25% of the population is Māori, why were there only five in hospice? Kia ora, my name is Anita, and I was hired by Cranford Hospice to turn these stats around. So the first thing to do was include Māori beliefs and values. We also developed Tikanga Best Practice Guidelines as a resource. My role is Kaitakawainga. I visit Fano as a navigator, a listening ear, a lynx person, and sometimes a spiritual carer. I'm guided by what our people need. Caring is all about whanaungatanga. I develop an inclusive relationship that comes from a sense of kinship, which means some of the work I do is outside hospice, like visiting Nan Tui. When Tui came back from hospital, I remember her telling me, I don't feel right. But the staff said they needed the bed. So I thought I'd better visit her, listen to her, and allow her to express her hurt so that she could heal. That's the part that I play. I'm not just there to solve things. I'm there to afi and to tautoko whānau, and this takes time. But actually, I get just as much from visiting her as she does from me. She's caring for me and I'm caring for her. I'm a health professional, but I'm also Māori. For the short time we come together, we provide one another with enrichment. That's Manakitanga. Manakitanga is about caring, and caring goes both ways. In my six years in this role, I have seen our five Māori patients grow to 40. Tatuaroa, no.